Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here on a Wednesday, March 15th, 2023, man. Trying to make some money. If you're looking for more of this great content, y'all know what to do, man. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and drop your like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through, seeing who y'all like. My best bets can be found over at Pig Dogs Premium. Click that link in the description. Takes it right to my handicapper page. That's where you can find my long-term packages, three-day, seven-day, 30-day, monthly, yearly, seasonal. You can find all my bets for today's action, NBA for sure, college hoops, man, NIT, and still some first four going on today. So active there. And uh, maybe some hockey, man. So you can find all my best bets over there, Pick Dogs Premium, including my $15 NBA Jam Session play, man. We did drop it again yesterday, man. I know y'all going to get mad at me. We did drop it yesterday again with the Phoenix Suns. Thought it was a perfect spot for them to fade the Bucks on the road. Bucks got it done, man. Giannis, I'm kind of with Monty Williams on this one, man. Uh, Giannis just gets a whistle that everybody else doesn't, bro. And it's kind of getting to the point where it's like, all right, NBA. I love Giannis. I think he's the best player on the planet. But he gets a whistle sometimes that's unwarranted, man. Sometimes you can't even play defense on the guy. Uh, I'm with Monty. Monty Williams after the game went and said Devin Booker had three free throws playing against one of the more um, aggressive defenders in the league and Drew Holiday. Giannis has 24 free throws. Go back and watch the highlights of that game, man. A lot of it's Giannis getting the ball at the wing going full fledged shoulder down into somebody's chest, bro. And he gets the foul call. Something got to be done about that, man. I love the guy. I love Giannis. Hey, what can you do, man? Four and one night, though, for me in the NBA last night. Premium-wise, I won't complain too bad. Everything else hit but my play of the week. But it happens, man. We're going to keep it rolling, man. That's three straight days, though, of positive premium area days, man. We've been heating up in the NBA. The best bets haven't been going through, but just about everything else has. So we're going to try to keep that momentum rolling forward. Follow me on Twitter and check out my live show, 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern, as I bring on guests and we run through the card. One more time, we we'll drop a parlay at the end of that show as well. So check us out there, man. That show allows us to update y'all on late injury news and information coming out of the association. Man, we got a nice size card on a Wednesday. We're going to try to smash it per usual, man. So without further ado, let's make some money tonight. Let's smash this card per usual, and let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. In our first matchup of the night, man, we open up the day with a banger, man. What a game to start out the day. We got the Sixers on the road facing the Cleveland Cavaliers, man. Philly is favored on the road over Cleveland. Total 220. And I don't agree with Philly being favored here in this spot, man. I know Philly has won five straight. Philly has the better record by a game. But in that same breath, Cleveland is playing great basketball in their own right. They've won four of their last five. And they go stupid, dummy, crazy at home, man. I'm rolling them. I got to, man. I got to take Cleveland on the money line here. I know the Sixers are playing really great basketball, man. They've won five straight, beat up on Washington, edged out Portland, beat up on Minnesota on the road, beat Indiana on the road, beat the Bucks out on the road. But it's a different animal here with Cleveland, man. Cleveland is 28-7 and seven straight up at home. 28-7 and seven straight up at home have won 80% of their basketball games. They're also... The second best home cover team in the NBA, right behind the Golden State Warriors at 22, 12, and 1, have covered in 64.7% of their home games. Man, I can't fade them in this spot on their home floor. We've already seen these two teams split the season series. Both teams won their respective home games. Sixers won the last one, 118, 112, on the 15th of February. That game, like I said, was in Philadelphia. Cleveland won the first meeting on the 30th of November, 113, 285. They hammered Philly in Cleveland the last time. It's the last meeting between these two teams this season. It's going to be a great one, man, but I got to lean Cleveland in this spot. I do think the Sixers could get caught here. Um... You know, they've been in that mode. They've won five straight, but Cleveland has been in that mode as well. It's a really great game. Hard one to really, really pick a side. It's a 50-50 type game. I can make the argument either way, but I'm making the argument for Cleveland to keep it rolling on their home floor where they've been dominant all season. Philly, they're nice, man, on the road. Uh, they're not the same juggernaut they are on their home floor as Philly is 16-15, and 15, about 50-50 on the road, man. 50-50 on the road against the second-best cover team in the league is not a place I want to be, man. Give me Cleveland. I think they win the game straight up, man. I'm going to take them on the money line here in our first matchup of the day. 
In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Memphis Grizzlies out on the road facing the Miami Heat. Heat lane four, total 219 and a half. If you follow this jam session for any duration of time, you know my favorite spot all season has been to fade the Miami Heat at home, man. The worst home ATS team in the entire NBA. They're terrible at home. Uh, are the Miami Heat 10, 24, and 2 ATS have only covered in 29 point four percent of their home games they are terrible ats at the crib man we fade them damn near every opportunity we get our favorite spot all season has been to fade miami at home all that said man i actually like them today bro i know i know i know I don't love it, man, but I do like them today, man. It's not like the Grizzlies are some magically good road team, and I think the Heat actually get them one done here today at home. The Grizzlies are terrible out on the road, just as bad as this Miami Heat team is at home. The Grizzlies have only won two of their last 12 road games, and the one of those includes a win over my Dallas Mavericks and their last one with my Mavs playing their G League squad. No Kyrie, no Luka in that basketball game. Still not a believer in this Grizzlies team that they just automatically figured it out without John Morant. They've been playing some pretty good basketball without him. But, uh, you know, I don't think they get this one done. It's not like they've been playing the best of competition. Uh, you know, they were on a long losing. They had lost three straight. Then they bounced back, beat Golden State at home. Golden State, we know they are terrible on the road. They only got like seven wins on the road all season. So, of course, the Grizzlies, they got that one done. Beat my Mavs at home. No Kyrie, no Luka in that game. And then beat my Mavs on the road in their last one. No Kyrie, no Luka. I think this three-game winning streak is kind of, you know, false. Like, it's not, it's not really there. It's there, but it's not, you know, Miami still fighting for playoff positioning. Only four games above 500. I think they really need this basketball game. And I do think they get it, man. I lean Heat laying the four. Probably Heat money line is probably the better place to be, quite honestly. Actually, yeah, Heat money line is the better place to be, man. Heat are the worst cover team in the league. I don't even want to be thinking about them laying points. There we go, man. Sometimes I got to do this live, but it happens. Heat money line is the better play in this basketball game, fellas. Do think they win this one at home, continuing to fade the Grizzlies out on the road. I know we love fading the Miami Heat at home. It's been our favorite spot all season. They are terrible. Worst ATS team there at 10-24-2. But straight up at home, they're not as bad. Uh, Miami Heat, straight up at home, they are 23-13. and have won 63.9% of their games. They just fail to cover. Every game they have at home is super tight, super competitive. I wouldn't be surprised if this one went the same way, but I do think they win the basketball game. I lean them on the money line here in this matchup tonight. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Sacramento Kings out on the road facing your Chicago Bulls, man. Sacramento road favorites, laying one in this one, total 237. The Bulls, man, I told y'all coming out of the All-Star break, I'm looking to fade this team. Uh, they're still five games under 500. They have won back-to-back -back games over the Houston Rockets, 119-111, and probably one of the more head-scratching wins of the season. They went into Denver and won that game really convincingly, 117-96. Denver, at the time, only had four losses at home all season, and not only did they lose, but they got hammered by Chicago. Hey, it happened, man, but, you know... I'm still not a believer in the Chicago Bulls team. I'm not, even off the two straight wins. Their last two home games, they got beat by the Indiana Pacers, man, 125-122. And they got hammered by the Phoenix Suns, 125-104. We've already seen the Kings beat this team once this season, 110-101 on the 4th of December. That game was in Sacramento. But uh, I think Sacramento bounces back off their loss to Milwaukee in their last one and comes in here and beats the Chicago Bulls team. I love what I've seen from Sacramento coming out of the break, man. I thought maybe they were due for some regression, man, but I quickly ate that crow as I seen that these guys were hooping. They're now back in the third spot in the Western Conference, but I do think a win here tonight uh, and a Miami win, which I do think happens, I do think they bounce back up to that second seed. Leaning on the Kings tonight, continuing to fade the Chicago Bulls. Uh, I want to fade them a lot going down the stretch. They have won three of their last five, but all three of those were out on the road against Detroit, Denver, and Houston. The two home games in this span, they lost. Indiana beat them 125-122. Phoenix beat them 125-104. Love what I've seen from the Kings. I do think they bounce back today out on the road. I'm taking the Kings, I'll lay the one here in this matchup tonight. 
In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Los Angeles Lakers out on the road facing the Houston Rockets. Lakers laying three in this one, total 229. No LeBron, no Anthony Davis tonight. They're on a back-to-back. -back. Uh, they did win pretty convincingly last night, did the Lakers, uh, over the New Orleans Pelicans, 123-108. Really good win for them. Uh, they're on a back-to-back, -back, though. They're on the road, uh, leaving New Orleans, going to Houston. But I don't think I'm going to overreact to it. I like the Lakers to win this game and cover this line. I know Houston beat the Celtics in their last one. Another mind-boggler. How did the Celtics lose to the Rockets? I don't know. It happened. Uh, they they won that game 111-109. But I still think the Lakers, man, they know what's in stake. They know what they're playing for. Even without AD and LeBron, I still think they show up today on the road and win this game pretty convincingly. They won four of their last five, and I think they just keep the momentum rolling forward. Looks like D'Angelo Russell will play tonight. Love what I've seen from him in the last game, man. If y'all didn't see the Lakers bench, everybody over there. Ice in the veins. D-Lo, he's back, man. He's in that mode. And I love what I'm seeing from this Lakers team right now. Coming out of the break, I told y'all, we we're going to be in the Lakers a ton. Thought they were going to go on a run. And a run they have gone on, man. And I'm going to continue rolling them here in this spot. Looks like I'm going to get my guy LeBron back in the playoffs, man. If y'all don't know, I'm probably LeBron's biggest fan. I love that guy, man. He is the GOAT. I don't care what y'all talking about. All y'all old guys finna come on here and tell me it's Michael Jordan. It's LeBron James, man. Don't be surprised if these Lakers... Go on a run when they do make the playoffs, man. Don't be surprised. They got to get there first, and they got to start stacking wins, especially ones like this one. No LeBron, no AD, but I do think the supporting cast does enough to win and cover this line. Uh, the Houston Rockets, I know they beat the Celtics in their last one. Mind boggler, 111-109. But they did get beat pretty handily at home the game before that by the Chicago Bulls, 119-111. Kept it competitive with Indiana. Took them to overtime, but lost that one as well by nine points. 134-125. Got hammered at home by Brooklyn. 118-296. They can be scrappy at times. They can also get blown out at times. I think tonight the Lakers just keep the momentum rolling forward, man. I like the Lakers in this one. I'll lay the three, as I do think they just keep it rolling. And uh, win this basketball game tonight. Give me the Lakers here in this one. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Boston Celtics out on the road facing the House of Disappointment, a.k.a. the Minnesota Timberwolves, man. Boston is laying five and a half and totals 233 and a half. Boston could have got that label after their last game. How do you lose to the Houston Rockets as one of the premier teams in the league? I guess the same question can be asked of how the Denver Nuggets lost to the San Antonio Spurs as one of the premier teams in the league. It happens. It's the NBA. Any given night, man, especially as a hooper, you know, some nights your shot not falling and the other guy just can't miss. It happens, but it's unexcusable to me. And if you're asking me, do I want to turn around and bet the Celtics on the road against a more desperate team like the Timberwolves after they just dropped a clunker like that against Houston? No, sir. I do not want to bet Boston. I kind of like the Timberwolves a lot in this spot, plus the five and a half. And I probably will sprinkle some on the money line. Uh, the Timberwolves need this game. One game above 500, man. One game could keep them out of the play-in. One game could send them to the bottom of the play-in, man. Uh... It's how tight the Western Conference is right now. I do think we see a concerted effort tonight from the Minnesota Timberwolves on their home floor. They have won three of their last five. Surprising, the three wins all were out on the road against the Lakers, the Kings, and the Hawks, man. They hammered the Hawks in their last game out, 136-115. Their two losses were both at home, man, to the Brooklyn Nets, 124-123. That game went to overtime, and the Nets got them. And then they got hammered by Philly, man, 117-294. I was on the Timberwolves in that game. I thought it was a great spot for them in that game. They were coming off three straight wins. Philly, it was a terrible spot for them. They were coming off of a road back-to-back. -back. It was like their fifth straight road game. Philly hammered them in that spot, a.k.a. why they're nicknamed the House of Disappointment. Most of the times when I think it's a perfect, great spot for them, they usually disappoint me. I had them in their last one against the Hawks, though, so won't complain too much. And I do like them to return home tonight, put some uh, extra emphasis on this home game, as they have no room for error. They have no room to lose any more basketball games. One game above 500 in a tightly contested Western Conference. I think they can keep this one competitive tonight with Boston, if not win it outright. Boston, man. They've only won two of their last five losses against the Knicks, the, Cl the, the Cavaliers, the Houston Rockets. They did hammer Portland in that span and did hammer Atlanta, but still, I, I don't, I don't want to bet the Celtics on the road here in this spot, man. Timberwolves also working with revenge as the Celtics beat them in the low meeting this season, 121-109 on the 23rd of December in Boston. I wouldn't be surprised if the Timberwolves repaid the favor tonight and won this game straight up at home. The more desperate team, more to play for. 
Celtics, man, they're kind of like the Nuggets, man. In situations, they're just going through the motions. I don't want to bet them right now, especially not laying points. I lane Timberwolves plus the five and a half. Probably a sprinkle some on the money line as well. In our next match of the night, man, we got my favorite team, sadly, the Dallas Mavericks, and we're out on the road facing arguably the worst team in the NBA in the San Antonio Spurs. And we're laying five and a half and totals 231 and a half. And this should be a bounce back game for a team that's lost four of its last five that's really slipping and could mess around and slip out of the playoffs if they continue on this current trajectory that they're on. I don't know what y'all want me to say here, man. I want to take the Mavs. The Mavs, for me, is the right side. They desperately need a bounce back game. We could be getting healthy tonight, but currently everybody is still up in the air. Game time decision. Kyrie, Christian Wood, and Tim Hardaway Jr. Looks like Luka's not going to play tonight. The Spurs have actually decided to play some basketball here recently as they hammered their Orlando Magic in their last one. And it's, they got a win over the best team in the Western Conference in the Denver Nuggets recently so do they be scrappy here today possibly um especially the Mavs are continue to be one of the worst ATS teams in the league I don't even I've lost more money betting the Mavs this season than any other team I'm tired of coming on here and telling y'all Mavs bro y'all just continue to kill me and deservingly so but I cannot in good faith come on here and say Spurs bro I can't it should be a bounce back spot for the Mavs the Mavs should get right today against one of the worst teams in the league. The Mavs, like I said, we're slipping, bro. I think we're like eighth or ninth right now currently in the Western Conference. We're in the play-in. It's really kind of sad. We're a game under 500. It's really kind of sad. I lean Mavs laying a five and a half. Am I betting it? Probably not. Uh, again, I've lost more money betting this Mavericks team than any other team this season. San Antonio's been scrappy. Can they be scrappy one more time? Possibly. But do I really want to be putting my money on the San Antonio Spurs right now? I do not. Especially after they've already won two of their last three. They need to lose some games to keep pace with them Pistons and them Rockets for the Wimbledon sweepstakes is how I feel. Should be a bounce back game for the Mavs. Do I want to bet that they do so, man? Not really. I'm not. I have not liked what I've seen from this team at all. Jason Kidd has to go, bro. Please get him up out of here, man. I guess last year was a Cinderella run, man. Maybe. I still think when it comes playoff time, we got the biggest walking mismatch in Luka Doncic, so anything can happen. But right now, currently, bro, I don't know. Christian Wood playing 10 minutes a game. What's up with that? Kyrie Luka sitting out on the bench like we're not finna not make the playoffs. This team is frustrating me, man. I'm probably not betting them. I know I've talked three minutes about nothing. Y'all probably don't care, but this team has financially hurt me emotionally hurt me and I don't know I still lean their direction in this basketball game <laughs> I got a problem in our last and final matchup of the night man we got the Golden State Warriors out on the road facing the Los Angeles Clippers Clippers laying two and a half at home total 235 and a half and we're sticking to the rule man Golden State at home Straight money, man. We love betting the Warriors at home. They got magnets in the rim, I believe. They just don't miss and chase center on the road. Pfft, no, sir. They will not get another dollar, dime, nickel, penny from me on the road. Give me the clips. Laying the two and a half, man. Continuing to fade Golden State out there where they've been terrible all season, man. The Golden State Warriors are the worst ATS team on the road in the league. Worst. League worst. Eight and 24 on the road ATS. They've only covered in 25% of their games out there, man. They've only covered in eight road games all season. If you think that's crazy, man, another stat. The Warriors straight up out on the road this season. They're 6 and 26, bro. 6 and 26. 6 and 26 are the Warriors out on the road. I'm not betting the Warriors in this spot. Clippers Get this one done tonight, man. The Clippers, they have won three straight. All three were at home. Beat up on Memphis, 135-129. Beat up on the Raps, 108-100. Beat up on the Knicks, 106-95. I do think they uh, win this game tonight as well. This is the last meeting between these two teams. Uh, Golden State does lead the season series 2-1 as Golden State won both of their uh, deserved home games, 124-107 and 115-91. Both of those were in um, Golden State. The Clippers won the only meeting in Los Angeles, 134-124 on the 14th of 
February. I think they win this one as well. I like the Clippers tonight to keep it rolling, win their fourth straight, continuing to fade the Warriors out on the road where they've been terrible, the worst ATS road team in the league. Uh, I know they won back-to-back games, really nice wins against Milwaukee and Phoenix. They both were at home on the road. I'm sticking to it until they show me they want to hoop on the road. I'm not betting them. They will not get a dollar, nickel, penny, nor dime for me. Will the Golden State Warriors on the road? Clips, let's get this one done. Laying the two and a half at home tonight. Keep it real. And that's going to conclude today's episode on the Jam Session on March 15th, 2023, man. Thank y'all for watching. Smash that like button for your guy, man. Subscribe if you're new. And drop your like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through seeing who y'all like, man. My best bets can be found over at PickDogs.com. Just click that link in the description. It takes you right to my handicapper page. That's where you can find my long-term packages. Three-day, seven-day, 30-day, monthly, yearly, seasonal. You can find all my bets for today's action. Of course, NBA. College Hoops, man. We got some NIT today and first four uh, tournament action. So active there. Maybe a little hockey as well, man. So find all those best bets in that link in the description. Also, that's where my $15 NBA Jam Session play can be found. We did drop yesterday again, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We dropped yesterday again with the Phoenix Suns. I thought it was a perfect spot for them. Bounce back game at home. Terrible spot for Milwaukee. Giannis just gets a whistle that some guys don't. 24 free throws. Devin Booker only has three. It's kind of insane to me. But, hey, it happened. We'll bounce back on the $15 play today, man. But, hey, scoop up something long-term. I keep telling you all that. Scoop up something long-term. I'm better than one bet a day, guys. I promise you I'm better than one bet a day. Scoop up something long-term. Yesterday went 4-1 and one, uh, with the best bet, of course, being the only one they didn't go through. But, hey, scoop up something long-term, man. Let's make some more money over a longer period of time. Hey, Nice size card on a Wednesday. We're going to smash it per usual. Follow me on Twitter at ParlayGuyJ. And also, check out my live show that I go live every evening, man. 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern. I run through the card one more time. I usually bring on a guest as well. We drop a parlay at the end, man. That show allows us to update y'all on late injury news and late information coming out of the association, man. So, check me out there. It's live. Y'all can come ask me questions, all that great stuff, man. So, check me out there. Let's make some money on a Wednesday, man. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs. I'll see y'all later on today. Let's make some money today, man. I'm out of here. Peace.